What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. Time for my playoff predictions, also New Year's Six projections here as we head into conference championship weekend. So I'm gonna again show you exactly what I think uh, the playoff field is gonna look like, who's gonna make the other New Year's Six Bowls, where they will be. I'm not gonna go through the playoff predictions because I'm gonna wait and do that next week after the playoff field is actually revealed. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you uh, where I think the teams are gonna be. And basically, I'm also going to go through here. I mean, it's, it's going to be kind of obvious who I'm picking to win the conference championship game. So there won't be a prediction video for the conference championship games. I'll be talking about that here in this video. So we will start with my number one overall seed team that I think will win the SEC championship, and that's the Georgia Bulldogs. I think Georgia will beat Alabama. I'm expecting a close game, a competitive game. I just think this team is a little bit more of a complete team. I think... Carson Beck's uh, just his improvement throughout the season. I think the Georgia offense will make enough plays to win this game. Uh, a game that, you know, you know, 31, 28 type game, something like that. Uh, I'm going to go with Georgia to win the SEC championship, stay at number one. And I've got them as number one seed. So number two seed for me is Michigan. Uh, I think they win fairly easily against Iowa. Uh, probably a lower scoring game. Uh, and I didn't make any score predictions before I started this video, but uh, we're talking about maybe like a, a 30 to 10 type game, something like that. I think Michigan will win easily, and I think they will stay at number two. So now the drama, three and four. Who do I have in these spots? Who, who do I have winning the uh, conference championship games? Well, I've got Texas beating Oklahoma State. I think that'll be a pretty competitive game. Um, I have Oregon beating Washington. I think the Ducks roll in that game. This team is just playing really, really well right now. Washington is, has not played as well down the stretch. I think Oregon uh, goes out there and, and gets a big win by, I'm going to say they win by about a, a couple touchdowns. I, mean, I think Oregon wins that game fairly easily. I think Florida State will beat Louisville in a pretty competitive game. Even without Dr Jordan Travis, I do think uh, Florida State's able to win that game. You know, it's been a year of, and especially, again, since the playoff rankings have come out, the top eight have not changed. They've moved around a little bit, but they have not changed. And we just have not had that big upset. I don't think we're going to see it this weekend. It's just, it's in that kind of year. It's a bizarre year because we have not gotten that chaos like we always do. I don't think we're going to get it. We might. Um, you know, I think the most likely uh, chaotic scenario is Alabama beating Georgia and then what happens from there. Um, but... I don't think it's going to happen. So I think actually who's going to be at number three is Oregon. I think Oregon, the committee, loves this team. I think they jump all the way up to number three, even with a loss, even over an undefeated Florida State. Uh, again, the committee loves this team, and I got Florida State at four. So we got Florida State finishing undefeated. Um, I don't see any way that Texas would jump either one of these teams. So, yes, I think definitely Oregon and Florida State would be three and four in this scenario. Would Oregon actually pass Florida State? That's the question. So this is why I think they will. Um, I think, again, the committee has really, really liked Oregon. And because they would have beaten Washington, the only team that beat them, uh, they've avenged that loss. It's almost, I think the committee is almost going to look like look at them as if they are an undefeated team because they would have that win over Washington. And again, if they win by a couple of touchdowns, I think that's going to be enough. Um, and also, I think they're going to judge Florida State without Jordan Travis. And I think they're going to want the better matchup for that number one seed. I think Georgia uh, would have a much better shot against Florida State without Jordan Travis than against Oregon. I know they're not supposed to look at the matchups, but I think they do a little bit. And I think, again, when they rank the teams, this is going to be the order. And then I think Texas will be right there at number five, um, just outside the top four. Uh, you know, Washington maybe at five. I think Texas will be five. And then probably Ohio State 6, Washington 7, Alabama 8. Probably what the rankings are going to look like, again, if it does play out this way. Uh, so Georgia, uh, Florida State would wind up uh, playing in the Sugar Bowl. And then Michigan, Oregon would wind up in the Rose Bowl. Yes, that does. You know, home field advantage for Oregon is, is kind of a thing there. But uh, if it was the, the regular Rose Bowl, it would be Big Ten versus Pac-12. So it would be, would be no different. Michigan fans will travel. Uh, that's not going to be a real big issue, but they're definitely not going to make Georgia go out to the Rose Bowl if they get the number one seed. So that's how I see the playoff field. I've had Michigan all season long, but I'm not going to reveal my predictions at this point. I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm not saying I've, I've changed my pick, but I definitely don't feel as confident about Michigan as I did uh, throughout the season. Oregon is really, really hot. I think that's going to be a very tough matchup for them. 
I'll go ahead and give it away. I would have Georgia beating Florida State, but who do I have winning at all? Well, I will make those predictions next week again once we get the actual playoff field, but this is what I think it's going to look like. This is my prediction. So how about the other New Year's Six Bowls? Well, let's start with the Orange Bowl. So you're going to have an ACC team here. It's going to be Louisville. They're not going to drop behind NC State, even with a loss to Florida State. They've got the head-to-head -head there. Again, I don't see them falling much at all, if at all, maybe one or two spots. And then you have to take, the committee would have to take the, or not the committee, but the the Orange Bowl would have to take the highest ranked Big Ten or SEC team or Notre Dame. And Ohio State's going to be that team. So originally I had Penn State in here just because I was, I was messing around with the matchups. But uh, for my research, it does appear that the Orange Bowl takes the highest ranked SEC or Big Ten team that's not a, a conference champion or playing in uh, the Rose Bowl or Sugar Bowl, which are playoff games this year. So I think they would actually, Ohio State would have to go here. So Louisville, Ohio State, uh, kind of seems like a mismatch, but that's where that's the game that I think uh, would wind up happening. Again, I would love to see Louisville, Penn State, and then Ohio State in a different bowl, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. Uh, and then in the Peach Bowl, so I've got Penn State here playing Tulane. Uh, Alabama also a, a popular pick to go to Atlanta, but I think I'm going to put them somewhere else. So I think Peach Bowl here is Penn State versus Tulane. Um, pretty close to home for Tulane. They've got to go. I think they will be the group of five, highest group of five champion. So I'm giving my pick away there. I think Tulane will beat SMU. Um, and then Penn State, the final at-large team, I think they wind up here. Uh, should be a pretty good game. And uh, Ole Miss will be left out. So Ole Miss will not make it into the New Year's Six. They would be that next ranked team, uh, next highest ranked team. So Penn State to the Peach Bowl to play Tulane is my projection. And then we go to the Cotton Bowl. I think Texas is there after winning the Big 12 championship. Obviously a, a good fit here to play in this bowl game. And then Missouri. What a year for Missouri. Uh, they are locked into a New Year's Six Bowl at this point. And unless we saw chaos, uh, like Louisville wins the ACC and Oklahoma State wins the Big 12, you know, that, I guess there might be a scenario where Missouri doesn't get into a New Year's Six Bowl. They should. So Texas-Missouri here in a game that will be an SEC game next year, but it'll be a bowl game this year, and I think this will be the matchup here. Should be a good game. I think this will be a fun one. Um, and then finally, we have the Fiesta Bowl. I know it's a long way to travel, but I think they're going to want this matchup. Washington versus Alabama. Uh, Washington and Penn State have played in, in recent years in a, in a bowl game and a New Year's Six game. And I just I don't think they're going to want to match Alabama up with Tulane. They're going to want a more competitive game. So I think Alabama winds up going to the Fiesta Bowl to play Washington, um, especially you know if Alabama loses to to Georgia and Washington's just got the one loss, they might want to reward them and give them kind of a home field advantage in a bowl game. But yeah, this is the matchup here. Where Alabama fans will travel. Don't worry about that. Washington, Alabama. You can flip this around and maybe put Alabama in the. Uh, Peach Bowl against Tulane and then put Penn State in the Fiesta Bowl, but those matchups just don't, I don't like those matchups as much, so I think this is what they're going to go with. Uh, perhaps they put Alabama in the Cotton Bowl, but who would they play? I mean, Alabama, Texas, we've already seen that matchup, so I, I, this is how I think it's going to be, again, if everything plays out the way I'm predicting in the conference championship games. Um, more than, more likely than not, I'm going to miss one of those at least because that's just the way it goes. But uh, those are my projections. Would love to get your thoughts and your predictions on the New Year's Six and the College Football Playoff down in the comments below.